I fine. love Jewish people, but I also love Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, I have to disagree with that. You're not Hitler. You're not a Nazi. You don't deserve to be called that and demonized. Well, I, I, see, I, I see good things about Hitler also. And I'm done with that. I'm done with the classifications. Every human being has something of value that they brought to the table, especially Hitler. Nope, this is over. It's over now. Please watch this entire video to understand finally once and for all the reason why you cannot normalize hate, the reason why you cannot normalize anti-Semitism or racism or bigotry of any kind, hate against any marginalized group of people, whether they be the LGBTQ community or any community whatsoever that is doing no harm to you. Why can't you do it? Because it spreads out of control very quickly. And what you think is harmless fun all of a sudden is the new normal. And as we know in the last few years in this world with a pandemic, new normals can suck real bad, real quick. But imagine new normals that don't go easily away when a virus wanes, but instead you've awakened hatred in the minds and hearts of millions of people in this country and maybe hundreds of millions around the globe. All because Kanye wants a little more press attention. All because Donald Trump wants to have dinner with Kanye. Do you see how these things get out of control? First, you have people storming the Capitol under the direction of the president with signs saying 6MWE, meaning six million weren't enough, saying that more Jews, more of my ancestors than the six million that were already slaughtered and brutally murdered by Hitler and the Nazis, more should have been killed. And then that same president sits down for dinner with Kanye, who's going on television saying, Hitler's no problem. And with Nick Fuentes, who's a Holocaust denier and a self-proclaimed white supremacist and white nationalist and pretending he doesn't know who, who the second one is, but not disavowing either of them. And then your great president comes out just today and finally reveals again What's been so obvious, we've all been saying for so long, he doesn't care about America, he doesn't care about you, he doesn't care about the Constitution. He just said the Constitution should be suspended to put him back in office. You think he cares about your Second Amendment or your First Amendment when he doesn't even care about the document as a whole? And that's what happens when you normalize people like Donald Trump because you like other policies of theirs and you can deal with the problematic parts of their personality. Or when you like people like Kanye West, despite the fact that they say some crazy shocking things, no more of it. I went on the Young Turks main show the other day and explained this and showed photos of my family that was slaughtered in the Holocaust, 17 members of just my family alone. And I got so many messages of support and people saying they were moved to tears. And I also got so many messages in DM and an email of hatred, of anti-Jewish, horribly disgusting anti-Semitism, saying six million were enough in the comments, making jokes about burning Jews in ashtrays. What's the difference between a Jewish person and cookies? Cookies don't scream when they're burning. A joke making fun of the fact that millions of my ancestors were put in literal ovens, burned after being murdered in gas chambers in the greatest travesty of modern time and not just Jewish people, five million others murdered by this monster that you think it's funny to joke about. And so I'm done. I'm calling out anyone who normalizes this bull I already called out Chappelle for normalizing it even softly in his monologue. And now, of course, it spreads to other things. And just yesterday, members of the Proud Boys and the Patriot Front, two far-right, essentially neo-Nazi groups, intimidated people in Columbus, Ohio, and forced a drag queen story hour to be canceled. This protest included Nazi salutes, these idiots heiling Hitler. It's already spreading. Don't you understand? You can protest something with kindness. You can protest something without using symbols and signals that unleash generational trauma and that call up the slaughter of millions of people. You can do it without intimidation. You can protest things with your words. I know that's not your strong suit, but you could try. But worse, by normalizing it, by not outright condemning what Kanye said, Chappelle made it okay to question it. Why are there so many Jews in show business? Just because a lot of people are in an industry doesn't mean they control the industry. Do you see a lot of Jewish programming out there? A lot of Jewish 
themed programming on shows, in music. There's not even a good Hanukkah song, as Noah Tishby pointed out recently. Maybe one, thanks to Adam Sandler. And that normalization now keeps happening, and it keeps happening with more frequency. A comedian that I considered a buddy until this bull post puts a poster for his show, Tony Hinchcliffe and his current friends, with the Israeli prime minister on one side and Adolf Hitler and Kanye West on the other side of the poster. Do you think that's okay? You are normalizing it. So when I called him out in the comments and I said, this is not okay, especially at a time like this, when anti-Semitism is rapidly spreading. And I said, are you that desperate for ticket sales? He said, lol, what? It sold out, weirdo. I told him in that comment that 17 members of my family were killed. His response was, my show is sold out, bruh. How empty do you have to be in your soul and in your empty little head to give that as a response? But way worse is the rest of the comments were all, what a funny poster, how hilarious, bro. Cool you got Hitler in there. And in, res in reply to my comment and Tony's response to me, somebody wrote 6MWE, 6 million weren't enough. They said clearly seeing this reply, 6 million weren't enough, implying I should be murdered in a genocide because I'm simply calling for people to stand against hate. The most obvious and easy thing you can do, the laziest thing you can do to just post I'm against this or at the very damn least not posting it yourself, you coward. Come to my face, Tony Hinchcliffe. Come to my face. Anybody who's normalizing this bullshit or the MMA fighter, the Jewish MMA fighter who said come to his face will both stand up against you. Enough is enough already. And who liked that? Poster from Tony Hinchcliffe, huge comedians with huge platforms, Tim Dillon and Joe Rogan. Surprise, surprise, enough. Use your brains or whatever amount you have left of them to stand for what is moral and stand against what is not moral. Is that so challenging, Joe? Is it hard to do, Tim? Hmm? Dave, is it really hard? Do you need the extra mild joke in your SNL monologue that was already 15 minutes? Do you need to keep a poster up for a show that's already sold out, Tony? Use your brains. Grow a heart, grow a spine, stand for what's right. Risk losing a ticket sale or two if that ticket is to Nazis or to white supremacists or to racists. Be better than that, you weak idiots.